做你想做的，成为你想成为的人。呃，живи сегодняшним днем, никогда не оборачивайся назад. No hay mal que dure cien años ni cuerpo que lo aguante. Vamos lá, mais um dia, vamos embora. Mais um, muito bom, e agora tudo está muito bom. Muito bom, 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 muito bom. Mis hijos son mi motor. Mi mucha familia cup mis corto eh. That means I miss my family a lot, and I wish I could go as soon as possible back to my family. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in the world now stands, as we've been explaining today, at、uh, more than one million people. And here it is. It's called the Diamond Princess. 175 people on board have the virus. Around 3,700 people quarantined on board the ship. They're going to have to stay on board. We understand at least in, for another week. The bodies of four passengers who it's feared may have died from coronavirus. The CDC estimates 80,000 cruise ship crew members still in limbo near the U.S. coast.、Um, but I think a lot of People are going to be shocked that these cruise ships are still kind of circling around with all these people on board and no passengers. Oh well, looking at the news, I don't think that、um, we're very popular at the minute. To be quite honest. Um, judging the way some people seem to have reported, they look like、um, the virus is on board the cruise ships, and we're sort of out there, left alone. Na verdade, eu acho que é uma uma mistura de de opiniões. Muitas pessoas entendem que nós estamos aqui e só queremos ir para casa, e nesse momento estamos impedidos de de regressar. E outras que realmente acham que nós somos os causadores. da distribuição do vírus quando na verdade nós aqui estamos salvos e indo lá para fora corremos o risco de pegar e contrair o, o vírus. So a lot of people, to be honest, before this whole coronavirus thing, like they don't even imagine. They just they can just picture like you know how we are living here. But now with this coronavirus, like I think they have an idea like. Oh, these people are just at sea. So some of them think that we are safe, but others think that you know that we are not because we have had some cases in the ships. Thankfully, in our ship, we don't have any case. So、um, I think that, well, on my family, I don't. What others think, I don't really care. But as long as my family know that I'm safe, that I'm healthy, I think that's all that matters. We live. Together we eat together, we stay together in good and bad times, and we are family, and we are family. La verdad ha sido un proceso bastante, bastante largo desde el 15 de marzo que nos enteramos que、eh, todas las empresas de cruceros se iban a iban a parar por un cierto tiempo. A partir de ahí, este, tuvimos una dos semanas sin pasajeros. que fueron este tranquilas sin ningún cambio o sea simplemente con el crucero para nosotros literalmente sí literalmente, los primeros días nosotros, fueron, fueron pero nosotros teníamos todavía la idea de que íbamos a volver quizás en un mes quizás en unos meses que tendríamos que seguir trabajando y seguir haciendo nuestras cosas pero los días pasaban y era como que qué o sea qué qué va a pasar con nosotros con nuestro trabajo en realidad no The、lunch is 11:30 until 1:30, and dinner service is from 6 until 8:30. And if you happen to be coming in just to get coffee or water, we still require every team member as they enter the windjammer to please wash your hands. And、uh, also, we ask all team members to please point your phone at that QR code and take the quick survey. You will find that QR code on channel 14 a little bit later on this evening, and it will be there for you all day tomorrow. So just have a quick look at that, and、uh, please do take the survey because your feedback is very important. Other than that, have a wonderful evening. Remember to wash your hands, and of course. Mm, recuerdo que estábamos cenando y nos dijeron、eh, habían llamado un grupo de personas al teatro y dijeron estas personas se tienen que ir a su casa entonces todos nos quedamos pero por qué o sea no no sabíamos like that's why I was asking today that like who、oh, are are you gonna are you gonna let us know if we're going like because I don't know if I'm gonna pack or not that's why it's like very uncertain 
comenzó a ponerse más tediosa la, la situación y más complicada en el mundo y bueno, a raíz de eso este, para cuidarnos este, empezamos a hacer protocolos digamos de distanciamiento social we have to like be careful we have to wear mask gloves i was supervisor in the uh, that time so i still remember that my boss and uh, staff captain and all uh, came and had a meeting and they strictly told me that uh, that we need to follow social distancing which is very very important for us for other people and for the society also el más creo que el más duro fue el aislamiento ese. Sí, el aislamiento. Empezó como una prueba de tres días. Tres días. Ya ni siquiera nos preguntábamos qué iba a pasar con el trabajo, porque en el trabajo ya nos habían dicho de que ya, o sea, ya no íbamos a volver a trabajar. Pero ahora empezaba la incertidumbre. Entonces, si no vamos a trabajar, ¿cuándo vamos a volver a casa? Esto es mejor no pensar. Esto es mejor ver cómo está yendo. Ir por día por día. Um, adjust accordingly. Bueno, hicimos la cuarentena de tres días, salimos y ya habían rumores de que nos iban a encerrar otros no, 14 ya y encima nos servían comida así muy buena. Y dijimos, no, ¿qué? ¿por qué nos están dando cosas tan ricas? Y dicho y hecho, reunión a las 2, 3 de la tarde ese mismo día que salimos. Y nos dijeron al, que al día siguiente o al medio, a la medianoche, igual tenían que entrar a sus cabinas porque empezaban los 14 días. Ok, so it's basically 11 pm and this is like a summary of what is going on, what's happening in my 14 days in this place here. It's the first day, like good theme, they actually going to let us to actually um, walking around in the ship, just in specific areas for two hours, uh, one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon night, a really chill, nice day to say in the way it was no something interesting or memorable. And to be honest, I don't think so. It's going to be more than this, but it's going to be definitely a challenge to try to just keep occupied and try to keep positive with all this situation. Si eso nos va a ayudar a que tal vez de una otra manera yo pueda mantener a mi familia a salvo, lo voy a hacer. My wife, she's a housewife and she miss me a lot and my daughter is like two and a half years now and whenever I call in the morning, in the evening, she always asks me, Dad, when you are coming, Dad, when you are coming back home? Que no estoy mal, pero si tuviera una familia, una hija o tendría una, una, una familia, mi familia, pues estaría como loco tratando de llegar allá. Like, mucho chuda ho kar, mucho dur jana hai, that song. It's like, 90s, 90s song. ¿Y qué significa eso? Significa que estoy muy far, estoy muy lejos de ti, de mi familia, y los amo, pero en algunos meses, en algunos años, voy a volver a casa. Bueno, ya estamos aquí, ya estamos aquí, ya estamos Eh, y después la energía fue cambiando un poco mm. por el tema de que 
También empezó a pasarlo en las leyes que decían, bueno, capaz que no vamos en avión, no van a poner en vuelos comerciales o en vuelos antes de que esto siga. Eh, primero era vamos a viajar, luego vamos por barco, luego de nuevo vamos a viajar. Y, y hubo leyes que capaz que pararon un poco, entonces está, quedamos acá y, y ahora todavía seguimos, pero, pero bien, estamos bien. So it's really difficult because um, from Belize it's only a couple of us in the company. It's really hard because my, my, my country is in complete shutdown. We are a very small country with over 400,000 people only. So, um, you know, we're a third world country, so it's really difficult not to take for the government not to take these measures. So they already closed the borders. So I'm just patiently waiting to see when I'm going to be able to come back home. In China, uh, our hometown, maybe the local department will ask us quarantine ourselves for another 14 days. Então, no meu caso específico, eu não sei como eu vou chegar em casa e nem quando eu vou chegar em casa. Porque a posição que eu tenho é necessária até o último tripulante sair. Então eu não sei como, como vai ser para mim. Já é Mered, é Mered, dois anos, só uns dois anos, com a minha filha. Ela também trabalha. Ela também trabalha no barco antes, mas agora nós vamos para outra cidade e ela está esperando lá. E eu. Sete dias atrás, provavelmente. E ela está lá, mas. Now it's coronavirus and now it's Russia is closed now. For example, if I want to see my wife, I cannot. Uh, the also company cannot buy for me tickets to Russia because I'm not of nationality of Russian. And uh, yeah, probably I hope soon the borders gonna open everywhere in the world. I, I come back to my country and then I took the train and I one night and I see her and everything gonna be I mean after this coronavirus I hope all the world will change. But it's been nearly three months and crew members are still trapped at sea, according to The Guardian, a hundred thousand worldwide. The CDC won't allow them to disembark until cruise lines agree to a plan to get them home and quarantined. For me, it's okay. I didn't meet some rude people, but my friend from another ship, then she met some rude guests. Then she said, ask her why you, you are Chinese, why you are here. So it's so rude, you know, my friend, so it's so angry, but she didn't say anything and she just reports. Well, we cannot blame them if they are, have a bad uh, negative impressions about the, the seafarers living on the ship that because they don't have idea how's the life on the ship that's why actually when i was on board like uh people around they are so like so nice and so friendly whenever i saw me even though we don't even know each other but they were like asked they would ask like uh, how is family how is your family something like this i feel really to be honest i'm really thankful for that in some part especially in my, in, my, in my country. Some of my fellow, fellow men, that they discriminate the seafarers coming from, from here, from the U.S. especially, where there's a big uh, number of cases. 
because they don't have idea what's happening. For our ship, it's always like normal. You can go ashore even during the coronavirus in China. But for some of other ships, like my friend, they also as a crew member work right there. But for some like places, they cannot really go because they're yeah. Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Really? because they, they, are they already work well right there maybe five months. Yeah, exactly. and before the corona comes out, they already right there. But yes. still, they cannot go ashore. But we are we are good. We are okay. So this coronavirus maybe start in the China, but not it means yeah, not it means we all are, the Chinese have coronavirus. Yeah, Don't be scared. Yeah, it's not it's not means that we need to feel guilty. We need to say something because we also suffer from this this disease. Yeah. So we we can help to others. We can help others, and we can just support. But Mm, but we we have no 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 nothing to to be blamed. Yeah, we do have. Uh, for example, we do have some seafarers went home, and then um, the hotel that they're going to stay, they accepted them. But the LDU, the local government unit on that uh, particular hotel, doesn't want them to stay there. So they went back to the airport, and that they get. They get was sent back to the airport after an hour drive again, and then they have to find uh, another hotel for them to stay. So we are, in fact, uh, we all live in the earth. So why why we just uh, focus on the nationality? Yeah, we we supposed to uh, support everybody, support no matter where they come. So sometimes the attitude makes us sad, but we're still friendly to others. The thing uh, I like about ship is because it's like home away from home for me. That's India is my home and the second home is uh, on board is my home. And I have in India I have seven family members and on board I have sometimes I have 22 uh, 100 family members when I work in a bigger ship. Yeah, and the people too be from different nationalities because you learn a lot. You really learn a lot of people who don't travel, it's hard to understand about something that's happening on the other side of the world, but then you're suddenly there and you remember the country. You remember in the music of the people, and I, I love music, so I love international music as well. I've learned a lot about international music and that's something that I really love on board. We don't really see, like, uh, you are from na this nationality, that nationality, no. We are like a family on ship. Let me just give you an example. You know, on Oasis, I celebrated my uh, birthday and there was like, you know, people would bring uh, uh, presents and stuff, but we did it in my, in my boyfriend's cabin, in Jonathan's cabin. So, uh, as I said, people would bring presents and at the end, they, they asked me, you know, like, how do you like presents? So I have people from, uh, uh, from US, from Greece, from Indonesia, from Colombia, from Croatia, from, uh, I don't know. Belgium, I, I don't know, a lot of people. And I said, this is present, this is my gift, you know. People from all around the world are here celebrating my birthday. So that's what I like on cruising ships. I've noticed that I get along pretty well with Latinos. But mostly, it's not about the, the race or the, how do you call this? Which country were they from? I think uh, I always make friends with those people who... Mm, we have the same wavelength, <laughs> you know, specifically like how our mind works. Because sometimes we get, sometimes we get crazy. Sometimes we get, that's all like party or sometimes we get serious. But I am more on the people who are more emotional, like talk about feelings. <laughs> I'm from Belize. So in Belize we speak English, but uh, we speak Spanish as well. So it's easier for me to get along with people that speak. Spanish, I think, the Latinos. So, one, because I really enjoy the music. I love the music. So, I tend to get along more with them. And um, so, nationality wise, it would be mostly anyone that speaks Spanish. 
Colombia, Peru, whatever. I see. I mean, most of them, uh, they they comfortable speaking our own language. That's why they all go together. Same birds, the same further, same thing with the Chinese, the Spanish, the, the Fili- majority of Filipinos, Indians. As you can see, most of them, they go in groups. But it depends on the personality. Me, I want to go just by myself or with some other close friends that I had, and that's it. Conversar com as pessoas é fácil quando você entende que a resposta que vem do outro lado não é contra você e sim possivelmente de uma coisa cultural. Então eu não não seleciono por qual nacionalidade é mais fácil ou mais difícil de, de lidar. Já não tem excusa, saiu com sua amiga, disse que é para matar a tuça. recuerdo, es que mi mamá incluso se, se enferma, empieza a presentar ciertos síntomas, mi hermana también, entonces yo estaba ya con el deseo de regresar como sea, ya quiero regresar porque soy de las personas que tienden a pensar de que pueden controlar la situación o ayudar de una mejor forma a controlar una situación difícil. Y acá lo que está pasando es eso, yo en realidad como que tampoco mucha información el club no tiene por un tema de que mismo Creo que la empresa también está, está enloquecida, tratando de buscar soluciones. Y eh, uno a veces mira a uno mismo y dice, ¿cuándo yo me voy a ir? Pero también somos un montón, miles de personas que estamos en proceso de irnos a la casa y no debe ser, no debe ser tan fácil poder ir, mandar a todo el mundo así nomás. And for example, for the company, for us here, I mean, plans are being changed every day. Like or a couple of times a day. Uh, I mean, plans to get us home safely, right? So uh, I understand that, and I don't blame them. You know, I don't blame anyone. I mean, if you put me in charge of all this process, I would get lost, you know? So if I couldn't do it better, why should I get angry if they cannot do it better? So uh, for me now, I don't work. I'm not working crew, and uh, uh, I like, I guess I should just enjoy. Um, estimating probably May to June, there about whenever they have the opportunity to get the chartered flights. And if CDC agrees with everything that we're doing, because a lot of the changes directly coming from CDC and we have to be in 100% compliance. Tonight, Royal Caribbean and Holland America parent company Carnival both say they're working with the CDC right now to try to get crew members home safely. We have close environment and we are not uh, not connected too much with our society. So I think, I think uh, I'm not very sure, but I think they, they, they think that we are more safer than them if we don't have any case. If we don't have any case and we don't have much connectivity from the, from the land because this virus can spread human to human but if you don't have any case on board it, it cannot be it cannot be spread to you because you are totally totally safe at beginning i feel like we are just it's been really lucky that we have no cases confirmed on board so we stay healthy we stay safe this is perfect and we, we just like uh, there is one chinese word to describe this is just like Called the uh, Shiwai Taoyuan, it means it's a wonderful paradise and, uh, and very far safe, away, yeah, really far away from the real world. But I think we're super lucky, and I think that's the saving, that's the like benefit of being on a slightly smaller ship or a much smaller ship because we can clean it better and control sort of who's coming in and out. So, by way of some kind of miracle, I think so far we've avoided it, and the chances are now we will avoid it unless people start moving around and that's the inevitable as well we can't all be on here forever 800 crew we're seeing right now being transferred from ship to ship in groups of nationalities so that then they will then head to ports closest to home (laughs) 
What do you think is going to happen now? I have no idea. No? I have no idea. Everything keeps changing. Everything is changing so crazy for the people who are here inside. It's like a roller coaster, like we said. It seems like our, well, the people around us seem to be quite okay from what I can see, but right now, everywhere around the world, you don't know what information people are getting from home. Y en futuro no sé qué va a pasar, ahora parece que nos van a transferir, nos transferirán y ahí estaremos un tiempo y yo creo que en algún momento llegaremos a casa. Remembers pies by Empress and 60 or 70 Indian going to Alu. It's our first embarkation, guys. <laughs> Lucky guys. I'm happy and sad, you know, because I feel like it's the end of an era or something, but it's not the end. But you know, it's like you've been with these people through such a hard time for like two months and then now some of them are leaving and you're like and you know the catharsis is that a right word oh. <laughs> say bye to the bridge the bridge is say bye it's kind of nice We were in a bubble, we were quite comfortable and okay because we were safe and now we have a new people with another perspective from what we're experienced. And I think it's going to be quite interesting to see them and how to see how they're actually going to try to be with us or be in this ship here with the people who was here before. It's like social experiment. We've had our own habitat that's been closed for about 75 days, you know, since the last guests left. So. As soon as you bring different elements into a closed habitat, the whole the whole situation has mm -hmm. to change. So it's a welcome change, you know. The more the merrier. Maybe not in coronavirus times, but yeah. as long as everyone behaves themselves. And... Claro, porque en este barco, este, lo que nos destacamos es que este vinieron, están juntando todos los europeos, ¿no? Sí. Mm -hmm. Así como a nosotros nos están transfiriendo para un barco donde van a estar los latinos. Este barco en el que estamos está juntando a europeos. Este, ya, este, sí, son... ya hay unos cuantos, sí. ¿eh? dando vueltas. Sí. Yo tenía mi temor, porque decía, nos, decí, nos dijeron, ¿no? Ya todos los barcos están sanos. Sí. Pero yo no me la creía, porque <risa> viendo cómo es este virus, hasta que muta y toda la cosa, entonces recuerdo que traté de salir poco uh -huh. y um, cuando mencionaron el uso de las mascarillas que será, la tenía ahí en el bolsillo, pero veía que la mayoría no la utilizaba. Y nadie se enfermó durante todo ese periodo. Sí, nos han dicho que los otros barcos eh, han sido mucho más estrictos bueno, que eso. sabía que la han tenido, había tenido caso. Mm. Yo no tengo preocupación. Por lo menos cuando ellos vinieron, veía que todos ellos estaban con las máscaras y todos muy preocupados. Este, sí. Yo notaba, notaba, mm. notaba que mantenían distancia, este... Nosotros quizás no tanto porque este, desde Nunca el principio el barco nada. estuvo sano y sí. hasta ahora sigue estando sano. Y aún cuando transfirieron a toda esta gente, nosotros hubo un poco de preocupación, preguntamos, pero nos aseguraron que todas las personas que fueron transferidas son personas sanas, porque pasaron por el mismo proceso de 14 días, ¿no? Sí, sí. Más, sí. ellos tuvieron sí, un proceso más. más. Sí. Si es que habían unos barcos infectados, creo que su, su cuarentena ha sido más de 14 días, más. Entonces, en esa parte, yo pensaba más o menos así como para estar tranquila y no estresarme de que, ay, que alguien tiene virus o algo. Entonces, a mí yo pensaba así, y bueno, prefiero de que, pensar de que este barco ya pasó por todos los protocolos que igual nosotros hemos tenido, ha sido más severo con sus reglas, y por eso los han dejado venir a, a este, al barco que está pasando. Do you know, it's quite quiet what's going on specifically on the other ships. Um, I, I would have thought there'd be more sharing of their experiences and maybe they're just not sharing it with us. 
like on a day-to-day -day specifics. But I think if you've got a case on your ship, it's a very different atmosphere and everyone's stuck inside and people are probably more on edge. And that, But in reality, I don't know what the actual situation is when you've got full-on people infected with COVID-19 and having respiratory problems and needing to be needing help to breathe and needing to get to a shore to get to a hospital I imagine it's it's pretty disastrous for the people working there they probably feel quite helpless if things aren't working and there's not much support from shore stuff not from, from the shore like trying to get people to land and stuff everyone thinks I'm dying and I'm like I'm not dying I'm fine I, I understand there have been some coronavirus deaths on ships, and that hit me like really close to home. When I heard about the people uh, dying, I was, I didn't want to think about what if it got like that. I didn't want to think about what would happen if I got it, or if, you know, Emilio got it. I didn't even want to. So when I hear other crew members, you know, somebody got it and they died, I, that was like a, it, it's, it's so intense that I kind of forgot what you were asking. I'm sorry. Well, when I joined the ship, I said that I'm going to give myself, um, you know, till when I'm 35 years old. So right now I'm 33. So I should have two more years. It'll be 23 and a half years. No, I think this is my one and only contract because I think I think I'm going to be here forever. Um, for me, maybe at least uh, I think the next few years I was still on the board because before I always in the Asian cruise, not in the American. So I want to go to South America, South American and the Alaska and the Europe. So at least, uh, you know, I want to travel around the world. At least I need some few years, like a uh, two to three years, then do more contract, travel different country. That's it. I'm going to go back. Não faço ideia. Eu voltei para a companhia para fazer dois contratos e já estou a caminho do quarto. Então, é sempre a história, ah, só mais um, só mais um. Então, não sei. Because they always say it when they're in the contract. Never make a decision in the contract, always make it after it. But I want to work in different department to feel about different life. So, maybe at least five years. Maybe whole life. Wow. wow! So I really like it to work, and to be very honest, maybe I can work more than 15 years also. This is called boredom shopping. I'm sorry, it's something different. Cause us to spend it though, and then it. I don't need it, but I want it. Or I can just spray everything on my dress and don't wash it. <laughs>
Nos acaban de llamar diciendo de un día para el otro que vamos a ir transferidos y vamos a estar en otro barco y ahora tenemos una reunión. ¿Cuál es la cuestión? La cuestión es que en Perú la, cuestión, la, la situación no está yendo bien, la gente no ha respetado lo que el gobierno ha dicho y eh, bueno, y ahora solamente está un poco de caos. No un poco, estamos en caos. Ahora vamos a ir a ver la reunión, a hacer preguntas y a decidir si me voy o no me voy. Creo que mejor me voy. No sé, no quiero también estar estancado aquí, pero tampoco está mal. Entonces hay muchos sentimientos encontrados, muchos eh, pensamientos, muchas cosas. Pero ahora acaban de extender la cuarentena en Perú también. Y eso sí, significa que el 25 no van a aceptar a nadie, están en lockdown. Ya es? sé, pero nos van a mandar a un barco y ahí nos van a tener todo junto, más fácil. Nos dicen que al final, que el último minuto, que las cosas no van a ser así. Que hay dos grupos y un grupo van a irse y el otro grupo se queda todavía para irse a otro barco. Que no se sabe cuál. Entonces, el primer grupo que se va a ir, eligieron el nombre, va a ser el de Belice. Se va a Panamá, se va a Colombia, se va... Eh, no me acuerdo si es República Dominicana, otros países de Centroamérica más que todo. Y los peruanos, los argentinos, los brasileros se quedan porque todavía no sabemos a qué barco los vamos a llevar. Yeah, I consider myself as a sailor because the longer you do it, the more you become like addicted to it. So if sometimes if you're on land, you will you will miss the how do you call this the lifestyle of the sailor. O fato que nós estamos cada dia num lugar diferente. Você dorme em um país e acorda no outro. Então você pode trabalhar de manhã. À tarde, tem, pode ir para a praia, pode ir ao supermercado e depois voltar a trabalhar e depois à noite ainda pode ir para o bar. Então, é como uma vida de trabalho, férias, tudo no mesmo lugar. Ship life, não, everything fine, I like it. I mean, I like this personal life, like this personal life, like this friends, friendly, friendship. It's absolutely amazing. And a job, if your team very friendly with you and very respectful to you it's easy for example i just make new friends and we are really closer and we to be best friends now maybe after a few months few weeks they will leave me that i need to make new friends again y es como estar en un big brother o sea esto es un reality show en el que entra viene alguien luego se va en que un dram una cosita se transforma en un drama en la que las alegrías se magnifican en la que si estás con alguien por una semana es como un mes, si estás con, y si te peleas con alguien, si te peleas por toda la vida o todo el contrato, eh, bueno, no se puede pelear o físicamente, pero si no te gusta alguien. Entonces, sí, sí creo que está buena la experiencia, pero tampoco no es para siempre. Them fighting? No, the they, fish are fighting. They eating okay. another one. Fish are friends, not food. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. She can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's moving. He's in the middle of the screen. Yeah. There, look. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Bye. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for yours. So, well, like, you're not going anywhere just I'm yet. Like I said, you up. said you were going to leave tomorrow. Now you're not leaving tomorrow. Yeah, so I know. I can't, I can't face that <laughs> until, until I see the back of you. I won't know. Well, anyway, thank you very much for everything. No, I love you. I love you. What am I going to do without you? I don't know. It feels so, it feels weird because I don't believe you're going yet. Yeah, I know, but... It's crazy because we are going to move just for ships and we're going to be just so same ship in, so in, the, in the sea as well, but we're going to be separate. Um, and it's not the end though. I know it it's not the end. end. Well, yeah. it's going to take time. I think no. without you guys, I don't know what I would have done a lot of the times. I've had, even if it, even if it was just sim simple friendship, you don't understand how much support it's been. 
especially as a first contract and first contract and like a strange job on a ship it's all it's been it's had its ups and downs and without you, you know, have a first contract you have a pandemic you're doing great bloody hell <laughs> Pasaron muy di much muchos días, esto se retrasó, pero hoy día por fin nos estamos yendo al otro barco a hacer eh, transferidos con los latinos. Acá están mis maletas. ¿Están listas? Ah, obviamente, esto es un blog de documentos. Finalmente, estamos haciendo esto. Finalmente. Bueno, estamos yendo por... We are going for another ship. Next adventure. Finally, we are going to another ship. <laughs> no nos la creíamos del todo hasta que estuvimos en el gangway. <laughs> hasta que tuvimos que llevar las maletas y estaba la, el gangway abierto y ver el mar ahí. No, porque incluso estando en el gangway nos dijeron, se va a demorar media hora más. Y ya, ah, ya no nos vamos. Pero después, sí. no, ya. Llegó, ya, llegó, cosas, llegó el tendero. Se llevó el, oh, sí, pues, el, el bote ese y ya. Every time I will hear this song, I will remember the quarantine and everything, the ship. Um, the song from Star is Born always remember remember us this way. The river sun is sky burning in your eyes. You look at me and babe, I wanna catch on fire. It's burning in my soul. Like California gold, you find the light in me that I couldn't find. So when I'm all choked up, but I can't find the words. Every time we say goodbye, baby, it hurts. When the sun goes down and the band won't play, I'll always. Remember us this way. A song. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Señor, didn't realize you're coming here. <laughs> oh my god. Yo salté. <laughs> Yo salté sobre él, no me lo creía. Era lo más cercano a, a tierra. Están todos en cuarentena. Sí, o sea, no, no es que me emocioné mucho porque sabía que estaba, ni siquiera estaba en tierra, tierra, o sea, estaba arriba del mar, o sea, entonces no era tan, tan emocionante, para mí no. Now, for the crew members who just joined from the Empress of the Sea, uh, we need you to pass by Game Services to register your salary at T-Card, uh, so you are able to access Wi-Fi. As well, at the same time, please bring us your passport. Literally, I don't like this. I know there are other places around the world they're using it, but it's so annoying. No, I have to go to the services, I think so. Uf, salón fue. Bueno, sí. Sí, fue sí, distinto. Fue distinto. Sí, fue distinto. A mí también, o sea, yo también tenía el, el temor, no, no por la gente nueva, sino por la forma en cómo manejan el barco y era lo que más me temía que pasara y pasó. Entonces, este, Llegamos, ni bien, colas. claro, ni bien llegando a ver una cola que, que era de... Para comer, para cocina, o sea, que era más de, no sé, no sé cuánto. Habían como 100 personas de 100 en la personas cola. Esperando sí. media hora o 40 minutos para entrar a comer. O sea, entonces mm. es lo primero, la, la primera impresión que tuvimos, o sea, este... Luego los brazaletes también para los horarios. Mm. Sí, hasta pedo, gente. <laughs> As a girl, sharing a room with a girl, sometimes, you know, it's like this one wants to spend more time in the bathroom than the other, and then, you know, that we are running short of time because sometimes, sometimes our managers, they do 
their best to put us in like opposite shifts, right? But it's not always possible. So it does happen that some days we both start at eight and we both wake up at the same time. So then there is a rush for the bathroom or, you know, because you want to do your makeup and she wants to shower or, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. But don't like too much. It's like, you know, when you work on the cruise ship, it's, I mean, especially for my department, because my, I work in the um, food and beverage. So for us, it's like you have to do, you have to work like every day. You don't have like really have day off days. In, you know, maybe every day you need to be rush, rush, rush because you need to prepare. So this is the hardest part for me because I don't have enough time to go out. And sometimes after work, I'm really tired. Even I really, really want to enter some really amazing activities, but I'm exhausted. I really cannot do. So this is a <laughs> comida. Okay. Porque é a mesma coisa durante os, os cinco meses a bordo. É o é a repetição de todos os dias saber que você vai encontrar o mesmo tipo de iogurte, o mesmo tipo de pão por cinco meses ali. Mas é parte da vida do tripulante e realmente tem tem sempre tudo disponível para gente. Então. Uh, food time. I so uh, be, be, being able to go to the mess only between certain hours and everything, so it's all regimented as when I eat. I don't have the flexibility of going when I'm I'm hungry or when I have time. I have to um, a lot when I have to eat. That's I don't. Have. Yeah, people are saying you know on announcements on every everywhere that we are one big family, but when it comes to persons. Nobody knows your name, actually, you know, from higher position. That's what I don't like. If I ever get a chance to become, you know, uh, a bigger person on this company, like chief engineer or whatever, trust me, those things are are going to change, you know, at least in my department. So. Y a veces también no me gusta eso del clasismo, ¿no? A veces, este, eh, hay, porque eres de latino, estás, eh, destinado a hacer ciertos trabajos en los barcos o porque eres filipino solo vas a hacer trabajo de housekeeping o indonesio trabajo de esto y los del bridge van a ser de croatas y esto y o sea hay muchos mucho está muy sectorizado y también todos los problemas que tre, que tienen también de de que ah porque eres este porque vienes si eres este hombre tienes que hacer este trabajo porque eres mujer tienes que hacer este trabajo entonces hay un poco los problemas chiquitos que hay en el mundo se transmiten acá y se magnifican Yes, or no me gusta mucho. The sexism. I don't like it at all. I, I hate it. Um, I don't want to say every single time. It's because it, that's not true. Um, it's just it happens a lot and it, it really interferes with my ability to get farther in this company. Um, some people have and I know I will. You know, it's not impossible because nothing's impossible. It's just like you have to tear down a brick wall before you get to some point. And some people don't have to do that. So that's, that's been the toughest part. Es un lugar sobrellevable. Si lo sabes hacer o si se trabaja para la empresa en la que estoy, al menos en esta que, que estoy ahora porque estoy en otra, eh, creo que ah, se esfuerza en papel en tener todo, en proteger un poco al crew, en, en, en tratar de no tener discriminación. Y depende mucho ya del equipo con el que estés si aplican esos eso que se tiene en papel, ¿no? more restricted and it's quite tough it's quite hard but the only thing I have to say is like everything is okay about the company everything the only thing is that they in this ship particularly they don't thinking about your mental health 
with so many restrictions, even listening music to yoga or something like that could not be possible. So it's getting really hard. Se entiende que esto suceda porque este sí es un barco que ha tenido casos de inseno. Sí, bueno. Pero ahora que ya en todos, todos, todos estamos sanos, entonces te sentías todo presionado, estresado, ansioso de ya querer irte porque no te dan, no te dan la libertad de hacer absolutamente nada. Someone wrote me and told me that actually my friend was working with working with her for my first contract when I was photographer. She's here and I grow her and we're going to make each other and we're going to see for a long time. And it's really nice to see someone who actually uh, saw you in your first days here. Deck five. How are you? Hello, my friend. Social distancing. Social distancing, let's do it like this. Eric, another photographer. Oh, nice. You know, we, we came from independence. For independence? Oh, my God. When did you switch? I came here. here. Obviamente, de una u otra manera, entre todos los que estamos aquí, hemos logrado y hemos conseguido estar el uno para el otro y tratar de mantenernos ocupados y tener una rutina y reunirnos y conversar y bromear y tratar de pasar el tiempo. <música> Last year I was ready to go. Packed up, visa got, medical done. I was ready to go. So I'm over 10 months now, yeah. And I'm still happy. I'm still happy. My vacation is two months and my contract is for seven months. But generally I extend because of my daughter's birthday. Sometimes I do contracts like 10 months, nine months. Because if, uh, especially I'm joined from a uh, in November, so my daughter's birthday is in August. If I sign off in June or May, I have to like, I, I miss my daughter's birthday. So that's why I, I almost extend my contracts till July or August. So I can be on her birthday. Uh, travel, it was my dream. Maybe like five years ago, I, I wish, you know, you know, in the new year, you, you have like some wishes for next year, what you will, you know, what you want to do in next year. And always we have traditionally in Russia, we, we fire, we put our wish on the, we wrote our wishes on the paper and then we fire this paper and put in a glass with champagne and then we drink. And I remember like five years ago, I think I, I wish it to me to celebrate next new year, another, to another city, another country and get, swim in the ocean, anything else, I mean, except my home. And now five, already five years, like every year I, I celebrate somewhere else, but now I want to celebrate at home. CDC says private transportation must be arranged. Also, there can be no interaction with the public on their way home. Several others have died in apparent suicides, including one crew member who jumped from the Regal Princess in Europe. In recent days, crew on a separate Royal Caribbean ship staged a protest, begging to go home. Revolt on the high seas as fed up cruise ship workers demand to get off. Now from Miami, we will be headed to Barbados where we are scheduled to be docked at 0800 hours on May 27th to begin supporting our South American charters as per the crew repatriation plan. All of our job now is to continue to comply with the CDC no sale order requirements, which the charter party agreements are made upon. Breaching these requirements jeopardizes the charter agreements and can cause delays, deviations, or cancellations 
relation to the charters agreed upon in the crew repatriation plan. So things are moving very fast, everyone. So let's all be diligent and ready as Barbados is only a few days away. What do I miss more from my life on land? I think it's going to be for all the crew members the same way. Really. It's your family, it's your house, it's your pets, whoever have kids or husband or whatsoever. It's your family. Yeah, or for my daughter, I miss everything. Like she's growing up. I can't see that only on a video call. I see she's growing, she's talking, she's walking. All that part I miss would be basically um, mom's cooking. You know, I'm a family type of person. So I'm really close to my family. I miss my family. I miss having that, you know, just going to my sister's house, playing with my nephews. And uh, sometimes I feel sad, but technically and practically, I have to because if I'll be on ship, I'll work over here. I'll do something for her, for her future, for your what she needs, what she not. I'll take care for everything in my family. As you know, life on land doesn't really change. Um, whereas your life on board the ship, if you take a look at your photos of the last contract that you've done and seen so much that you have achieved, you find that they haven't done so much. So to be quite honest, you don't miss an awful lot on land. Uh, of course, my family. It's very important. And uh, like what I miss my do all the time, I miss evenings on the, I mean, to walk on the street in the evening time when it's night, where it's not sun, it's dark, it's lights of the city lights. I mean, this I miss a lot. Porque o, o tempo que eu saí da companhia e, e morei em terra, por três anos eu senti falta do navio. Até que no último ano eu falei, pronto, that's it. Vou voltar e voltei no final de dezembro de 2018. I always say this, I always say this and people ask me, like, what do you think? Are you going to stop doing ships? Because I love the lifestyle. I really love the lifestyle. And I've had times when I was in the in land on the Philippines for a year. And it was bad. Like, I miss, I miss it. And I was, like, really depressed. Like, ooh, when am I going back? Of course, the money also. But if I think if I will save enough money and I will have my business of my own, the only thing that can stop me is even if I have money and if I don't settle down, like, if I get married and have a family, then I won't stop. Because I think it's hard if you have family. So if I'm going to settle down and have family, I think... I need to stop. Uh, working on ship is because I can save more money and I can take care of my family, especially of my daughter and my wife. 
so whatever they need in life i can provide them i can give my daughter a higher studies in good school good food good clothes yeah pretty much that and not talking about specific situations like this current one i don't think there's anything bad about working on here eu acho que é pela mistura do da da vida que nós levamos a bordo e também pela pelo financeiro é bastante é bastante difícil encontrar um outro trabalho em terra que que o valor do nosso salário seja equivalente e que você não tenha que pagar nada. Never really thought of it. Money. <laughs> I paid. I've got a full-time job. Uh, and I love the job. I have to really enjoy the job. So. <laughs> Um, if I wanted to go back to Miami, it would be extremely easy. They would put me in the next time we return to Miami to go back. But I don't want to. <laughs> And that was hard to convince them because they were like, why didn't you? A lot of people, though, because there's some people that are from the opposite end of the world, like like China, and it's very far. It's hard. I, I can only imagine how that must be like to be like kind of stuck on a ship and you can't go back home, and home is like a day away. It's it's hard, you know. Even even though I made the decision to stay, it's still hard for me because my family really wanted me to go back. And for my own sake, they decided to stay. And now they understand that it's still it's still something very hard to swallow. What I'm worried uh, uh, is uh, our plans that I have with, with Jonathan, my fiance, that uh, what what we uh, uh, are trying to uh, to do, you know, uh, to get back together. So uh, I need that license. I need. This kind of job, you know. So, uh, interesting because because of uh, I mean I'm not here because of the money, but if I think about the future, I need to collect more money so I can move to him. You know, Where he's from Florida. Okay. We met on AD. <laughs> we fell in love. <laughs> I'm getting married. Um, we, we were originally going to plan it at the end of this year, but the coronavirus happened and then they were trying to separate us not on purpose but when you're in different nationalities they it's not it's not the ship's fault i have to say that it's not their fault it's it's the uh customs and immigration rules and then the cdc oh you can't disembark you have to wait but oh you're from the u.s and the ship docks in miami oh you live 20 minutes away why can't you just leave <laughs> or something and i'm like I'm getting married, like, because, you know, I don't want to be separated, and then we're just waiting for this coronavirus, we're just sitting there separate, I don't like that, I'm gonna, you know, wait. and I asked, please keep us together, and they, they did a great job, they helped us, and I had to sign, like, a paper and everything to be like, okay, you know, I'm staying on board, knowing fully well that I'm not ever come back to my country in the next God knows when, and um, I, I did it, I, I wanted to be with him immediately, and we're like, okay, let's just do the paperwork now, because, You know, at any moment, you know, they might change a law or something or, you know, the, the president might close the country and say, you have to come home now. Or I don't know. This is just things that are run through my head. Like, I don't like that. 
knowing that there's no paperwork to make sure that they legally cannot just throw us at different sides of the world. So that's why we're trying to do the, the paperwork first, get married legally first, and then later on probably have the ceremony. Well, yes, there will be a ceremony. We just don't know, like, we're just waiting for this coronavirus thing to, to end. No, yo no sé si vamos a ir, porque como ha pasado en otros barcos, que al final los regresan, cuando están ahí en el aeropuerto, ahí, ahí los regresan. Se supone que ellos tienen que preparar un manifiesto que tienen que mandarlo y coordinar con el gobierno. A los argentinos todavía les han dicho, oye, ¿sabes qué? Tienen que llenar un formulario de salud. Te entiendo. Y es llenar, ¿no? Es algo, es algo factible, es un papel. A nosotros, absolutamente nada. ¿Qué es lo que piensas? Vamos, nos vamos. Te vas mañana. No sé. <risa> en Perú no les conviene tienen, tienen gente varada en otros continentes, tienen, tienen estudiantes varados en Estados Unidos. Somos los últimos de la pirámide de necesidad. Porque no estamos en estado de emergencia y no estamos varados en ningún lado. Pertenecemos a una compañía que nos está proveyendo de lo básico que es el servicio médico. Guys, please remember tomorrow be on time, yeah? And be ready, yeah? And if there is anything we chat each other by email, yeah? Thank you. You know, what happened? Acaban de decir que le cancelaron a hacer en el Checa tu grupo en el Facebook. Y, a ver. Y me escribe Francisco, uno de mis yo soy de ser y me dice, Julie, ¿tienes a alguien con quien contactarte en la embajada? ¿Qué pasó? Le digo, acaban de cancelar. Y yo, oh. Mira, no puede ser, no lo podemos creer, no puedo creerlo. Y de, unos cinco minutos después, anuncian, todos los peruanos vayan sin maletas al teatro. Sin maletas al teatro. O sea, tenemos como que un plus porque somos, estamos bloqueados. O sea, puede ser que nos tomen en consideración si es que sale ese vuelo y que nosotros seamos los que se van. Solamente hay un vuelo que va a salir. Ah, no, no está seguro tampoco. We are not. Yo sigue con mis ilusiones. No. Quizá, quizá pase algo, quizás seamos los afortunados. Todos los demás me decían, no, esto ya no es posible, ya no nos vamos. Y dicho y hecho, luego no. Sí, o sea, era una combinación de frustración, tristeza, cólera, sí. ansiedad. Entonces, bueno, en mi caso, lo único que decidí fue este, ir a mi cabina y dormir todo el día para ver si es que se me pasa, ¿no? Porque sí, o sea, no sé, quería pegarle a alguien, ¿no? ¿verdad? <laughs> the Aviation Authority of Peru communicated late last night that they have limited capacity of staff to accommodate repatriation flights since airports are still closed. Most of the people are pissed off is I heard is some problems with other charters the other nationalities has. Um, I mean, now I'm going, coming back to my cabin to put my luggage again to try to arrange again because we're going to be a couple of Dave's here again. He's some Lucas there. As you can tell, seems we are not going anywhere. So. Alrededor de 100 peruanos mm -hmm. en estos cinco barcos que quisiéramos re retornar a casa para estar con nuestra familia y se, eh, apoyando de alguna manera. De lo que sí nos dan, nos dan de comer, sí, las tres comidas, tenemos este wifi gratis y ten, tenemos pues la, lo, las habitaciones, ¿no? Que, pero el punto es que uno ya no puede estar pues en esta prácticamente cárcel de, de oro, ¿no? Ya, ya, ya no puedo más, yo necesito regresar a Perú, tengo mi hija. Sí. Estar avisando mi hermana, por ejemplo, me comentó que mi mamá se puso a orar ahí en ese momento. Ella es budista me puso a orar, que sí, mi hija tiene que venir, que no sé qué. Y cuando me respondió, o sea, cuando respondí su llamada, mejor dicho, mm. sí la noté un poco afligida. Y me dije, ay, mamá, tú sabías que no podíamos hacer las ilusiones, no quería que te enteraras, pero... Pero bueno, ya, ya se dará en algún momento. Y me dijo, sí, igual quiero que, que tú estés bien, mm. porque aquí la situación de Perú tampoco no es. La situación es pésima. Mm -hmm. Luego, se están contagiando, yo también estoy mal, así que a veces las cosas suceden por algo, me dijo. Tengo una tía que, que murió, que no hicieron mucho caso a lo, 
a lo que estaba pasando y, y tomaron esto de una manera muy... Eh, de una manera que no... O, tomaron como que no pasaba nada. Eh, muy a lo, a lo liviano y al final, lamentablemente, eh, tuvo una complicación y un día estaba bien, el otro día se murió y, mi, y una, familia, una tía muy cercana y al final mis primos pues tuvieron que... No se enteraron por medio de la radio, no pudieron ver su cuerpo, obviamente, y solamente la otra semana han tenido que esperar sus cenizas. Y... I don't know what the feeling is like to be on land in quarantine. I think it's... I don't know what that feels like. It'd be interesting to one day find out. But by the time we get home, maybe... Maybe it'll be a different situation. Everything will be back to normal. China? Everything is to be normal. It's like, uh, for example, my city before the second dangerous city that all of my family that they quarantined back home long time ago, at least two months. So they cannot go get out. For example, my family, if they want to get out, go to supermarket, two days only one person can get out. But now everything be fine. They can go to shopping mall, they can have parties, they can go everywhere. Then they start, start business, they start everything. So be normal. Um, it just exposed the, the huge divisions in my country and it makes me sad because um it's not even about fixing things anymore it's just about whose side you're on and how much can you get and um you know i'm all for you know fair economy and stuff but you know capitalism and, and communism and all the whatever isms It doesn't matter if the people are, are being oppressed. It doesn't matter what system you live in. If you can't see the doctor because you can't afford it and you die, that's bullshit. You know, and um, so you can, again, it doesn't matter what kind of system you live in. If it's corrupt, it's corrupt. It doesn't Democrat, Republican, it's, they're all corrupt because if, if they weren't, this would not be happening with 50,000 something people dying. And people are like that, that misinformation, uh, refusal to 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 realize death unless it's looking at you in the face. Like a lot of people, mm, coronavirus is a hoax, and then their 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 father dies from it. And it's like, you know, maybe in the very beginning I could understand some skepticism, but when people started dying and thousands of people, then it's like this is not. When you can't find a grave anymore because so many people have died and they're taking up all the funeral homes, it's not it's not funny anymore. It's not a hoax anymore. I don't know. Eu acredito que o número de casos e de mortes estão crescendo a cada dia mais por por ignorância, porque as pessoas não entendem a seriedade e além das pessoas não entenderem a seriedade da situação, nós temos uh, os líderes que deveriam dar o exemplo, indo em rede nacional dizer que realmente é só uma gripe e não, não tem o porquê se preocupar tanto. No momento, o Brasil já ultrapassou o número de mortes comparado com a China e ninguém sabe até onde vai parar. É uma experiência inexplicável, é uma sensação de incertidumbre ainda. Mañana me voy a mi casa. Bueno, mañana me voy por tercera vez, porque realmente no me he ido. Pero esperemos que esta sea la buena. Pero verlos a ellos te da esperanza. Me da esperanza. Porque ya los colombianos ya llegaron, eh, los chilenos ya llegaron a sus casas. Y si ellos llegan hoy, hay más esperanza. tomado los protocolos necesarios para repatriar a nuestros tripulantes y muy contentos de recibirlos aquí en Colón. Ninguno de ellos presenta ningún tipo de síntomas, ellos han estado en cuarentena total. Vamos a ver qué tiene. Wow. Mira que tiene un sándwich. Chocolatitos. Dos caramelitos. Yo soy el número 57, fulano de tal. Ahí vi tanto. Está, soy esa persona que se va. Espero. ¿Estás listo para irte? Todavía no me estoy, no estoy ilusionado. Hasta que no esté en el avión ni nada. 
Pero sí, estoy listo, tengo mucha gana. Tenía una envidia buena, creo yo. Porque el ver que se iban y cogían sus maletas ahí en el, en el pier, o sea, y, yo, y nosotros ahí arriba sin poder hacer nada, y, y ver los que se van en el bus felices y todo. O sea, qué bien por ellos, ¿no? Pero si hubiera preferido estar yo. <risa> Esperamos a los defensores para poder bajar a la NFI, que está, digamos, la puerta hacia el exterior, hacia el mundo real. Hacia el exterior, Y me habló muy sonriente diciendo que tenemos un meeting a las 4. Ahí está Paula y Yanela. Fue, fue, estaba feliz. Ojalá que esté feliz. Para que no diga que ya no vamos. Sí, ya no vamos a 14. Pero él siempre está feliz. No creo que lo haya dicho en una mala onda. Ellos me quieren a mi casa. Pero vamos a ir después de despedir a los filipinos. Um, sometimes you do get through tough situations, and of course, you don't have your family with you, so you, you need to learn how to overcome all of those for yourself and um, yeah you just need to make yourself strong you know that doesn't mean that you cannot have a, a bad day yeah you can have a bad day but it's just like if you fall down then you have to pick yourself up <laughs> but they don't understand what we are going through over here what we are working what how many hours we are working they don't see that But when we go home, they say, oh, you, you have earned lots of money. Now, come on, give us treat, give us some booze. Yeah, they think that, but they never know that what we are going through over here. When we start working on the boat, the problems in the sea are so... I've already passed through the worst in the boat. Every day is a day that you don't know what's going to happen. Today there's an emergency, tomorrow there's nothing. O outro dia tem uma festa, outro dia tem uma atividade, outro dia outro departamento precisa de ajuda. But you meet a lot of people making new friends. That's the best part of it. Not all of them, obviously, but you know who you are. <laughs> This one. You know? You know this song? <laughs> no, it's a of bass. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a beautiful life. And that's actually the... Yeah, it's actually our life. It's a beautiful life. Yeah? Well, we, why now we have a beautiful life? Why what? Now we're having a beautiful life for now. No, it's not only now. It's, it's all our contact. The FIFA principal is Liberty. Does it make sense? Yes. I can only hope so that everybody is mature enough to understand that the next 24 hours are critical for you to be home. Yes, sir. Yeah. We already receive a demand that the government of your country has specifically said it is approved for the flight to go, but the last step is we are not yet done. The last step is you to be on that plane. And for that, you gotta be in a position to be on that plane. Meaning to be on time tomorrow morning at 4 o'clock. Espero que ya nos podamos ir, que sea una realidad y que no se sienta tan cercano y tan lejano a la vez. Yo advertí a mi hermano que no le diga nada a mis papás. <risa> Pero. Aún sigo incrédula, aún no me lo creo. Ahora okay, yo al contrario, yo ya le he dicho a toda mi familia. Yo, yo tengo un grupo con mi familia, entonces ya les puse, ya les dije que voy a llegar mañana. Entonces dije, de repente en el, en el vuelo confirmado pasado, este, solamente le dije a mi hermano y no pasó, entonces ahora voy a hacer lo contrario. Entonces ahora le he avisado a toda, a, bueno, a, solamente a los más importantes, ¿no? Ahora, ahora les he avisado a todos, entonces ya, a ver qué pasa. Yo creo que sí me voy, o sea, ya. Es por ya. Supposedly we are going to home today. Ojalá que todo salga bien, ya tengo las maletas acá, ya tengo todo listo. Y, y bueno, hay un momento en el que tú ya estás cansado mentalmente y, y a pesar que la situación no está de lo mejor en Perú, tengo, me acabo de enterar justo que tengo a mi, a mi mamá, a mis hermanas, eh, están con COVID y en cualquier lugar a donde podría ir o posiblemente podría ir, no puedo ir por ahora porque están con COVID y tendría que ver y qué es lo que la situación en la que voy a estar. Pero bueno, eso va a ser manejable. Eh, ahora me toca ir 14 días en grupo. Eh, en un hotel, porque el gobierno lo establece, y Royal, o la empresa con la que trabajo, ya eh, se ha encargado de ver todo eso. ¿Todo bien? It means like you have to charge the people who you have it right now. Don't make yourself regretting the Yeah, cherish every moment. Hoy he sentido 80 sin que hemos subido al piso, primera vez que hemos estado sobre el tiempo y, y nada, 
no sé, es una situación muy, muy rara el haber salido del barco después de tanto tiempo. Ahora está confirmado que está. no pueden echarse para atrás. Ahora somos el único vuelo, obviamente, no está funcionando este aeropuerto, que está en lockdown y vamos a esperar hasta las 8 y media para ya regresar a Perú. Vamos a ir a Ecuador, de Ecuador vamos a quedarnos esperando y de ahí vamos a pasar a Perú para pasar con las autoridades, para que nos hagan los chequeos activos y vamos a estar a las 12 y media. So I just want to ask for myself, for my God, that when this, uh, when this uh, disease or problem will finish and we will uh, back soon to our business. I just want to go back to my basics and I just want to wow my guest and that's the only, only the thing, only the question that I ask for myself that when we will go back to work. Which means something good must come out of this because everything has uh, two sides of situation. My name is Manny and I'm from Belize. Soy Paula Vázquez. Soy de Lima. Shadi Juan. I come from China. I am Amado. I'm from Philippines. Yo soy Carolina. Yo vengo de Vitoria, Espíritu Santo, Brasil. Mi nombre es Marcos Arrieta, de Argentina. Wei Wei. I'm from China. Julia. And I come from Montenegro. Me llamo Valentina Juárez. Yo soy de Perú. Sushil Buruk. And I'm from India, Mumbai. Okay, my name is Bonita and I am from the Philippines. My name is Vladimir. I'm from Belarus. Uh, mi nombre es Juliana Siriaco. Soy de Perú. David. Canada. Yo soy Maximiliano Molina y vengo de Uruguay. Lonia, from Jamaica. My name is Ed. I'm from Northern Ireland. Stella, by the way, my Chinese name is Wei Chiu Luan. Elisa Menendez. I'm from Miami, Florida. My name is Arun Kumar and I come from India. Christian Vega, de Uruguay. Amina, from London. My name is Kelly and I come from the Mauritius Island. Eugene, I come from China too. Rafael, yo soy de Perú. Disappear. 
¿Qué sientes ahora? Por fin ya. ¿Qué sientes, Vale? Sí. 